Hey y'all, it's Charla and on this week's episode of Corn Fed, ever since I told you guys about my diet and how I'm kind of gluten free and how I stay away from wheat altogether, I've had tons of people sending me gluten free products and I finally found one that I'm absolutely in love with. So this week I take you back into my kitchen and we're going to make a homemade pizza. Let's go. So we are going to cook a homemade pizza with Tastefully Simple and I just discovered this stuff. It is awesome. First let's go ahead and prepare our pan and we are going to cook the pizza in a cast iron skillet. But we don't want the pizza to stick so we are just going to press the foil around this. And you can turn it under if you want it to look real, look real fancy. I just push in the sides and then spray Pam because when the pizza is done then you simply just lift the pizza out and then move it to um, like your cutting board. So first of all, we're gonna just take the mix and follow the instructions right on the box. So stick with the instructions. So the crust mix, which I've already got in there, and then one cup of warm water. So here's our one cup of very warm water. And then two tablespoons of olive oil. And that's it, that's how simple mixing up the crust is. And I mean, I have never made pizza, a homemade pizza before, ever, before I discovered Tastefully Simple, and they make it just that, very simple. Once you've got that good and mixed up, you kind of fold it all together. Then all you do is let that sit for about 10 minutes. So while we're waiting on the crust, we're gonna get it our toppings ready. So we're gonna go ahead and make, and this also comes in the box, and this is the sauce mix. So you use the sauce mix and eight ounces of tomato sauce, which Hunt's has the best, and I even got the roasted garlic flavor, and then one tablespoon of olive oil. And I don't usually put quite that much, but uh, we're gonna mix this up. And if you want something a little thicker, you can add tomato paste instead of just sauce, but tomato paste gives my husband heartburn, so I just stick to the tomato sauce instead of paste. So we're still waiting on our crust and we have mixed up our sauce and now for our toppings. And I've already cooked hamburger meat and I also have mushrooms, red bell peppers, pineapples, uh, baby spinach, and we also have feta cheese. And then I have a mix here of Parmesan and mozzarella, which is so yummy. And then my husband got, got this to add to our pile of goodies, which is uh, from Columbus, but it's uh, Italian dry salami, peppered salami, and Calabrese salami. I don't know, I'm gonna put that on his side. <laughs> Okay, so we've let that sit for 10 minutes, and did I mention that this crust is gluten-free? Which is why I was really interested in, like, Tastefully Simple's really coming out with some really delicious gluten-free options. Which most gluten-free stuff is kind of bleh, but this is really good. Okay, so this is not going to like roll out like your regular pizza crust, so you just kind of have to, you know, spread it out with your spatula like this. You can put it on something bigger if you want a thinner crust, but oh, I'm telling y'all, this is the most delicious pizza you will ever have. Okay, now for our sauce. Okay. 
Okay, so here is our mix of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. And so this is the first layer of cheese that we're gonna put on. So have no fear, there's more cheese coming. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then I do spinach because I just feel like the spinach and the cheese kind of layered on top of each other is so good. And those pieces are kind of big, so I'm gonna chop them up a little bit. And I'm not stingy on toppings. I mean, this bad boy is gonna be packed high before it's all said and done. Now for our hamburger. And with the hamburger, I still, like I didn't cook it, like I didn't overcook it. So if, even if there's a few pieces that are still like a little pink, it's fine, because it's about to get cooked a second time. And then my husband's not a fan of pineapples, so that's just gonna go on my side. I am not a fan of salami, so we're just gonna put that on his side. And then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna put the Parmesan cheese on top of his side over here. Oh, look how yummy that is. I'm gonna put feta cheese on uh, the top of my side because he's not really a fan of feta. And there we go, guys. That is our uncooked pizza. You can kind of fold down the edges, but again, I left it like this so it can easily be lifted out of the cast iron skillet. And I've already preheated the oven at 40 degrees and just follow the instructions on the box because this is gonna bake for 17 to 20 minutes. And since I have a gas oven, it usually takes a little bit longer. So, all right, here it is, and it's gonna be really heavy. Because ah! <laughs> that cast iron skillet is so heavy. So, then we just see how easy, that's why I left the edges like that. So there it is, that is our delicious pizza. This is so delicious and this is kid approved and husband approved. I even got an oh wow, that's awesome out of the husband last time. So you guys will love this tastefully simple. Put any topping you want on there. I highly recommend it. Tick talk. The baby is just right around the corner and so I'm gonna show you exactly what's in my hospital bag. Love y'all.